St. James Lutheran School is celebrating 100 years today. The school has stayed in the same building since 1915. News 18's Kayla Sullivan reports why St. James officials say their location has a positive effect on the community. These old and worn steps here at St. James Lutheran School hold 100 years of memories. Just walking up those steps, I remember my brother and I sitting there waiting for my mom to come and pick us up. Betsy Williams came all the way from her home in North Carolina to celebrate the school's anniversary. This was my sixth grade classroom. She says a lot has changed since 1987. It's bigger than I expected it to be. That's nothing compared to the changes Ruth Wien notices. She graduated from St. James in 1937. It made so many changes, it doesn't look like the same school. The look of the classrooms may have changed, but the feel of St. James remains the same. Friendship and the love shown here, yes, it's been the same, and I've been truly loved here. And after a century of being in the same location, St. James Lutheran School Board Chair Christy McCain says the school needs to stay here. Very recent, there have been some concerning activity in the neighborhood. Neighborhood, but again, we feel like we can really be a positive influence and a gem here in the community. The school hosts community events to encourage positive behavior. We actually had a free basketball camp that was open and available to anyone in the community to come. And as part of that basketball camp, the children would hear a devotion um, as well as learn some basketball skills. Lafayette Mayor Rozworski attended the rededication of the school and presented a plaque congratulating the school's 100 years of positive community service. Ruth Wien says she's glad her school stayed put all these years. We can reach to the community better than those that are out and out. I mean, there was talk about our church building out but we voted it down. And we continue to believe that it's important to be here in the heart of the community where there's really lots of opportunities for us to serve the neighborhood. Kayla Sullivan, News 18.